Who, who laid the rod before Yahweh? Don't sleep on me. Yes, Yeshai. Jesse. From Jesse, what happened? Sprouted the life and, 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 and kinship of who? David. Of David. Mm -hmm. And from David's budding blossomed the eternal life giving ministry of the Messiah Yeshua. So if we abide and we allow Yahweh to touch our lives, our dead earthly rods, and we allow the resurrection life to come upon us, it will bud to others and eventually it will blossom for Yeshua and his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Life, bud, blossom. 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 That's why you come here every week for training. Not so you can have a religious obligation and go, I feel great because I didn't miss Shabbat. <laughs> no, you come here to be part of the camp, the boot camp. You can't sit home and be part of the boot camp. You're part of the rear end camp. You're part of the blessed assurance camp. <laughs> Sitting on your blessed assurance. ASS hyphen and then the rest of the word. So again, we have the, 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 um, the bud, the life, of the resurrection life, touching a family, the budding of that family into kingship, and the budding of the kingship, and we are kings and priests, Revelation 1 6, the budding of that kingship and blossoming for the king of kings if you keep that stem, that rod in the vine. If you get what I'm getting, you will kiss me a thousand kisses in eternity. Please don't kiss me now. Somebody may get the wrong impression. <laughs> Plus, my beard might give you a bad shave. Very gruff. The struggle is not sin. We're so focused on sin. Ooh, he sinned. Yeah, just like you when you gave the guy the finger that cut you off in traffic. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right? Oh, my gosh. I caught Wilbur flirting with a girl. All right. All right. So he's a human being. He shouldn't be flirting. All right? He's not going to go to hell for that even though some rabbis would like to send you to hell for flirting <laughs> because they misuse the Torah. Mm -hmm. They just want them for themselves. Exactly. So, so, so the key is, the key is that we need to abide in Yeshua, put our rod daily in His presence and die daily and allow His resurrection power to touch your life. That's the struggle. When Yeshua didn't, Yeshua is not a liar. He said it is finished. Everything that is needed for forgiveness, salvation, redemption, pardon, discipleship, and resurrection, and being a child of the resurrection and a child of the king has been done. Amen. So there's nothing left to do except hang out with the king. And that's where the phone rings. And that's where the email comes in. And that's when your job transfer comes in. And that's when the kids, oh, they're well behaved until you start praying. And until you start reading your Bible or counseling with another brother, and all of a sudden the kids start acting up. Yeah. Exactly at that time. So the struggle is to blossom by remaining in his presence. Amen. Yirmiyahu 23 and 5. Yirmiyahu. Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. 23 Ooh. and 5. Yahweh is my help. Watch this. Yirmiyahu. Is anyone enjoying? Amen. Amen. The word, the word, more of the word. Yahoo 2325. And if you were with me 10 years ago and you heard this, I apologize. I know it's boring. But if you weren't here 10 years ago, you should be shouting glory. Yahoo 23 and verse 5. See a prophecy written approximately 500 years before Yeshua was born. You see, the days are coming, says Yahweh, that I will raise to David, notice. A tzaddik branch, a righteous branch, notice, and a melech, that's Yeshua, will rule and prosper and execute mishpat, judgment, and justice in the earth. In his days, the house of Judah, that's, that's the first house, the Jews shall be saved, and Israel, the non-Jewish believers, or the Ephraimites, which most of you who are not Jewish are from the ten tribes of Israel, the returning house of Israel. And the returning house of Israel shall dwell safely away from false religion and other dangers. And this is his name by which he shall be called, Yahweh Tzitkenu. So Yeshua will be called Yahweh our righteousness. He is not just 
a little God or a little deity. He is almighty Yahweh, our righteousness. But notice, in those days when Yahweh comes to this earth and becomes the King Yeshua and executes judgment and justice, notice, from Yahweh says, I will raise to David, David, a tzaddik branch or a righteous branch and king, which of course we know is the blossoming of his sprouting. The dead stump spr sprout, uh, uh, budded. Amen? Uh, uh, Yeshai stump sprouted. David budded. And through his budding, Yeshua blossomed as Yahweh our what? Righteousness. And there's a song we used to sing in the Messianic movement, beautiful, from this verse. I don't know if you, I know you remember it, sweetheart. I don't know if anybody else does. By Yami Mahem, Tisha Yehuda, Yisraelim is mechabo. By Yami Mahem, Tisha Yehuda. And this is anybody wish you good? Yahweh sees Kainu, Yahweh sees. Remember? Yahweh sees Kainu, sees Kainu. Yahweh sees Kainu, Yahweh sees. Okay, so we see here. Notice that Jeremiah states that the Messiah will be the branch of David who will fully blossom as Yahweh, our righteousness, meaning our holiness and acceptance before him, our right standing. Now the Hebrew word here for branch in verse number 5, Jeremiah 23, 5, is the Hebrew word tzemach. Tzemach, yes. Mm-hmm. So David, in this verse, is the rod of Yeshai. Yeshua is the tzemach, or the fullness of David's authority. Because Yeshua is the resurrection and the life that came through David's authority. Listen. And Yeshua is the chosen servant who sprouts, though previously dead. He is the tzemach, the branch, who is willing to branch out through us. Listen. Even as Jesse and David did through Yeshua. In other words, mm -hmm. if Yeshua had not blossomed, Jesse and David would be worthless in our Bible. Mm -hmm. The point of budding and sprouting is to get you blossoming. I'll say that again. If it wasn't for Yeshua or Yahweh, our, our righteousness, the Tsema, the life of Jesse and David was worthless. They would have been like those dead rods that Yahweh asked to be removed from his presence. Do you really want Yahweh to, to ask to have your rod removed from his presence? No. Then start blossoming now. Amen. And how do I start blossoming? Doing the few things you know are right. Mm -hmm. And stop having big dreams about big things that one day you're going to do for a righteous Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Start small. Mm -hmm. Start sprouting. Start small. And then start budding. And eventually you'll be blossoming for Yeshua. And Yeshua blossomed and made David and Jesse great because they stayed in his presence. And here we go, man. As we close, listen, we will also bear fruit by branching ourselves through Yeshua. We're in the vine. We're in the vine. We're branches. We branch ourselves out as we remain plugged into the vine through his power, his gevurah. So the word here is tzemach. Tzemach. And let me read you two scriptures. And then we are finito. First close. First close. If you don't behave, first close. If you behave, final close. Yochanan 11.25. John. 11.25. Yohanan, 11.25. So Yeshua was a tzemach. You go from being a netzer, a ranch, to being the tzemach, or the big ranch, because you're sprouting and you're blossoming. Yeshua was the big tzemach. We are the matot. You getting this? The Hebrew is matot, Chris. We are the rods. Remember the matot? Yeah. When, we, when, we, when we blossom as a matot, 
we blossom into a netzer or a branch. What is a netzer? A netzerim Yisraelim or a Nazarene Israelite.